Hey guys, hi YouTube, here is Cassie from Cassie Director and in this After Effects tutorial I show you how you can create first person shooter effect. You saw it maybe on on the channel from Freddy W and he is absolute brilliant and I saw his video and I well, think why not I should make a tutorial. Here are the gun with the numbers with the bullets and the satellite the points and the name so let's get started 100 points Woo! first of all you need the footage from your first person shooter that is only you running around with your camera a gun in your fr in the front look at freddy w videos uh, he made a helmet with the camera on it to film the scenes. Then you can get a brush for Photoshop. It's a gun collection with guns and rifles and and I made this picture here. So if you don't have Photoshop you can use this picture and make a, a mask around the gun. And if not then search on Google for a image with a transparent background. Another picture is this here you can use this picture or make your own. I looked on Google, made a screenshot and changed a bit in Photoshop but you can change it in After Effects I think so and in GIMP or whatever. Leave it like it is but it's best when you make it black and white. So first go and import your clip into a new composition Next go and drag your clips in it. So here is this clip with the satellite and the gun clip. So um, shut down your eye for your clip so you can see the satellite image and make it smaller, not too small. Then drag it in your corner. Go to your clip and um, now click here to a rectangle so it will be creating our mask and now go over your picture like make it smaller like your um, satellite and drag it into the middle like this here so like this here and then you can go and click invert and you get this effect and now you can go to your satellite image, click R and you can now rotate it and ah you see it's overlapping so make your pixels make your picture bigger a bit so it goes over the corners like this. So first let's go and animate the picture for that go to the beginning of your clip and you should now where your position is like this out of the front door and you can't see it but that's the house so I need to turn it to so go to your satellite image and hit R Click on the stopwatch rotate it to what position you like um, let's use this here and then um, play forward so and rotate it a bit Play forward, rotated. So maybe like this here. You can see it, it's rotating in the push position of where you're running it. And now let's keyframe the position. So go to satellite and hit P. Hit stopwatch and go forward. So I'm here and then I go forward. So in the other direction. So maybe like this here. It's going with the movement of your it's on the satellite. Next turn on your gun picture. So drag your um, gun clip on the very top so we can see it here. And click on and go to transform fit to comp. And now choose a masking tool and ma make a mask around the gun if you don't have 
already the transparent background. Next go and search on your effects panel for key light and drag this on your gun. Choose the pick whip tool and choose on the red. And we are finished. Haha. <laughs> Click on your gun clip, hit T for opacity and go tone to 60. Now choose the text tool and write under it 9 to 9 or whatever you like. Choose the, then then choose the text tool again and click on the left here to write our name. So Kathy Director. It's my plan name. And then leave a lot of space and write again um, the person that you shoot. I will use no ghost because I shoot no, nobody. I want to shoot nobody. Click somewhere and click again on the layer. Hit T for opacity and go to six, 60. Go and duplicate the gun picture or import it again. Right click and transform fit to comp and then make it so small so that the gun fits in between the ghost. Choose the mask tool again and make a mask around your gun again and key light pick whip tool choose red and we are nearly finished so click on the layer and hit T set the opacity to 60 um, now go to the position where you have shoot a bit after it so like here uh, here's the position where we shoot and the Kathy um, director goes to Two. Like that. And the nine, you can go and click on the nine layer. Uh, you can go to edit split layer and double click there and change the eight, uh, the nine to eight. When we shoot, it's changed to eight. Next, go create another text layer. And right here in the middle, like here, the points you want for shooting, 100, plus 100, make it very big, and choose a color yellow. Here choose the font terminal, drag it to somewhere here, hit T, opacity, keyframe, and go bit it forward, and zero and here again so hit the keyframe for 100 and go forward and zero and we need a put we need to animate the 100 so it goes like to where the opacity is arrived so go to 100 number 100 and click position and go to when it's disappear like that and now drag it higher so it will looks like this well I hope you enjoyed my tutorial please subscribe for more After Effects tutorials requests are very welcome and please check out the channel from Freddy W. And I hope you will see this video. Yeah. This video is not for support guns or shooting people or after effects for learning. Okay, I hope I see you next time. Bye.